Yeah. One of the big challenges in analyzing bacterial contamination within foods is having a method that's very rapid. There's traditional methods that are used typically involve uh, culturing the bacteria that are captured from a, a food sample. And this can typically take um, uh, days in order to get uh, a positive result. We have developed these magnetic ionic liquid materials that can capture bacterial cells or DNA from a sample. So as you can see, it gets attracted to the magnet. We then can take this uh, magnetic ionic liquid, elute the cells and do analysis. So we wa really wanted to look at culprits that may be found in, food, in cases of foodborne illness. Those typical cases include E. coli, salmonella, and our current work we're also looking at viruses like norovirus. This experiment is really important because typically in these cases you want to obtain a very quick uh, uh, detection of these uh, foodborne bacteria or viruses so that you can actually uh, initiate a response. So we'll, we'll put this in an incubator overnight, then we can count cultures later? So in the long term, we believe that this is a strategy and a, a method that could be used by uh, small and large manufacturing facilities to monitor contamination within their flow streams of their uh, food processing facility. Uh, because this is a method, as you've seen demonstrated, that can be done fairly quickly using materials that we uh, develop in the laboratory.